we are going to have to shave your head. This is Stephen. Stephen didn't have a great time in high school, but with his 10-year high school reunion coming up, he wants to go and he wants to impress. What's your name? Stephen! I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I didn't recognize. But will his former classmates realize that the Stephen they're so blown away by isn't actually him? made an app. It enables you to order a lookalike of yourself to go and do something you don't want to do or feel like somebody could do a better job of. I want to send a hotter, more successful lookalike to my 10-year high school reunion. How's that going to work? I mean, I don't talk to anyone from school either, but people know your face, right? Okay, I got a picture of the guy. Oh, we've got to do it. He looks so sweet. I'm taking a nine hour flight with a small camera crew to Columbia, Maryland to meet Stephen Fasto and find out who he is and why he doesn't want to go to his high school reunion. How are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> good to meet you. I'm Stephen. Stephen's back for Thanksgiving and he's mulling over his dad's request because he wants him to move back to Columbia and take over the family dental practice. I don't think the parents had any real idea why we were there. This is your leaving year, 10 years ago. This is the class that will be there. Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> jazz Europe trip. Yep. Band. Yep. Jazz band. Maryland All State band. Do these guys know what's going on? I haven't told them much. Okay. <laughs> so, the reason he's here is I applied to his app and we're gonna send a lookalike to the reunion, a person that's not actually me, but a more uh, like socially like affable or uh, tr uh, charismatic person than me. You <laughs> go for it. <laughs> <laughs> but Steven, you're very affable. You're really sociable. You're all these things. You shouldn't put yourself down. Mom, just relax. No, it's all good. <laughs> just, do you think this is going to work? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> People who haven't seen Steven, it will work. So have you actually got any footage of you when you're in band? Yeah, my parents have a lot. Check this out. This is uh, what got me through high school. <laughs> that was a pipeline dream of mine, for sure. And it's still one of the most important things to me. Are there any moments in high school that stick out to you as something that was like particularly embarrassing? Every spring, we had a concert where we dressed up in costumes. And I had put on the back of my shirt, uh, Chicks Dig Me. And I like literally stood there like in like, a pose and everything with my back to the audience. But there was a, a wedgie going straight through the middle in front of eight, all 800 people that oh. um, so <laughs> it's a big deal. The whole community comes for this concert. And he thought they were laughing because it's just chicks dig me, but a lot of people were laughing because he had a nice wedgie. <laughs> <laughs> that uh... something you would like a do over with? Yeah, I mean, I tried to roll with it for four years and like play it off by just kind of continuing it every year, but it's still one of those. Damn it. Moment. <laughs> so, uh, we, we can see what we can do with that. I'd appreciate that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right. Next, next step, I guess. Yeah, yeah. We're headed to my high school, so it's only a couple minute drive from my folks' house. What's coming to mind? Band's pretty much what I think about, all from that room there. And that's kind of where I really centered myself. So, why do you not want to go to the reunion? I mean, I think a lot of people have already like established themselves. They're out of school. They've got a lot of them have careers and family, and are really getting settled into their, uh, I guess, lives. I've had a, uh, an experience a little more different, I think. So, like starting with the music, then going to the dentistry, and like originally thinking, oh, you know, I could be anywhere, and now kind of selling myself back here into this area. So, I'm not quite where I want to be yet. 
Do you think that the people at high school will remember you? I don't think the majority of them will. But it'll be nice to revisit and see them, or... <laughs> that <laughs> wouldn't work for this bit. No, 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 no. Not at all. It would be cool to see him touring musician, like traveled, had a lot of neat experiences, can entertain a small crowd. You know, a good looking, confident version would be awesome. So I found the lookalike on a casting website and I just set the maximum price at like not that much money because we'd spent most of the money on the flights over there. What are your like special skills, would you say? So I can play guitar. That's all good. Stuff, do all the music stuff. You know what? I actually have a video of me shredding. Oh, perfect. California. You want to go in and be like a really charismatic, kind of like a little bit of a douche. Like you want to be cool, don't you? You want to be. Totally, totally. You want people to leave being like, yeah, that was Steven. Today's the day, and Stephen uh, to come and give me a load of materials, like DVDs of him from high school, his clothes. Are any questions you've got before we do this? Well, I'm hoping to like work in this area, like as a dentist. But besides that, whatever. Like you know, as long as it's fun. How's it going? Good. Come on can in. We, yeah. Yeah. Sure. At least you hear books. So Stephen Fasto. Here we go. That's Stephen. This is the Stephen who you need to be today. His idealized version of himself, that's you. What do you think? I can make it work. You think if you had glasses, it might help the whole thing? These are pretty on the mark. We are going to have to shave your head. Like properly Just bald. completely bald? Yeah. Like shaved? Yes. OK. At the end of the night, you're going to get out the guitar, you're going to tear off your shirt, doing a face melting solo. Turn around and then you've got a tattoo on your back that says chick stick me. And is this the weirdest job you've done? Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> hey. Hey man, how's it going? Good to see you. Steven! Steven, hey. this is... Steven, nice this to meet you. Good Aaron. to meet you, Steven. <laughs> We've got like literally an hour and a half. We gotta make you look like you. We gotta get the brown eyes. We need to do your hair. All right. We kind of want to make him look like this. Okay. I want to expose a spot on the okay. scalp. Thin line down the middle. You know, there's still hair there. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we taking more off? I, don't, I look pretty bald, though. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, little hair. Are you wanting no hair? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to uh, do the tattoo. Yes. <laughs> do you think anyone in the room will remember the moment? Kristen, Colin, anybody band related. All right, baby. Put you wanna whack in those contacts then? Let's better turn blue into brown. <laughs> Fascinating. I think we did it. The new and improved Stephen was about to enter a high school reunion where he knew nobody. So we had to give him some help. We've got like five hours until this begins. We're not gonna be able to give you all the information you need. You just need to be able to bullshit. What do you do now? Do you still do music? Um, here and there. You do? Your band's called The Right Guy. You know, there's gonna be posters up on the way that you walk to go to this venue. So we put up professional gig posters around Columbia, Maryland to show Stephen was this successful musician now. I wanted to subliminally associate Aaron's face with The Right Guy, which he obviously isn't. So there's an anecdote I think you should have about when you were touring in old Kyoto. You should start going into a phrase in Japanese okay. and then say, sorry, and then say it in English. Akiwa Kanyuan Watashi Steven. All right, so there's him. This is Steven out on his own, the man. 
That's Kristen, and she's a friend of Stephen's from bands, so avoid her. This is Jesse. Yeah, we want Stephen to be cool, so make friends with him. Bam. Okay. Guys here. Okay, I don't know who that is. Katie Flew Hardy, I think. Stephen had a crush on Katie throughout high school, but, you know, never had the guts to ask her out. Charm her. She's actually not going to be there tonight. What's her name? Katie. Katie. So this is your big ally. You need to get out of a tight spot. You got Chris. I hope you took some of that in, because it's important. How are you feeling? Great. I can't wait. All right, we should probably get over towards the venue, because Chris is going to be there soon. Ally. Yeah. Chris knows what we're up to, so he's an ally. Good to see you, man. Hey. <laughs> Tonight, this is Stephen, so... Oh, yeah, that's Stephen. I'll stand by the front so that he sees me when he comes maybe in. Maybe help him with his name badge, maybe? Won't the cameras look a bit suspicious? We're making a very important documentary about high school reunions, if anyone asks. That's awesome. <laughs> that's so awesome. Why do you think high school reunions are important? Um, I mean, I think they're important just because... Stephen and Andy, did you know them? I'm pretty sure they were all in band in middle school, because I remember Stephen played clarinet, I played clarinet, he was way better than me. So there was people that went to jazz band, and I was not good enough to try out for a jazz band, <laughs> so... Yeah. So Norisha, she just told us this, you played the clarinet in middle school, you don't know that she was jealous okay. of you, but she was, and then you upgraded to sax when you went to jazz band. Okay. Okay, that's all you need gotcha. to know. Right, cool. He's heading in. Please work. Please work it up. Please work it up. Hey, how's it going? Nice. Yeah, dude, it's so good to see you, man. Yeah, for sure. Good. I need a name tag. I think they're right over here, man. You remember me? No. I remember your name. But... I play guitar. Okay. I know I used to play sax, but I'm playing guitar now. Hopefully, it's a lot more socially suave than I am. <laughs> when I was in old Kyoto, there was a sage there, and he used to always say, What was that? Yeah. First up, we got Jesse. So can our lookalike convince the most popular guy in school that he is the real Stephen Fasto? That is so Jesse. Jesse, yeah, go, man. how the hell are you? Stephen Fasto! Stephen Fasto, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See you, dude. Right. Dude, say, how's everything? dude everything's yeah, been yeah, good. Yeah. You know what? I, I was going to follow my, my dad's yeah. footsteps, but actually, I moved to LA. Okay, really? I'm doing some crazy shit right now. So, you know, I'm just trying wow, to. man, it's good to hear. Man, it's good to hear. Oh, uh, thanks, man. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I try to trim yeah, up yeah, and everything, not, you know, yeah, but, not, uh, not, you yeah, know, I never looked as good as you, but, nah, you know, nah, I, I, nah, I, I, I try. Nah, well, I'm glad you're having a great, uh, yeah, great, great yeah, time. Great well, yeah, yeah, man, it's great seeing you, man. No doubt, man. Yeah, you take, you too. It's worked. He worked for that. Awesome. Right, Steven Fasto. Dude, James. What's your name? Steven. Steven Fasto. Fasto, yeah. No. Yeah. All right. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't recognize you. No one recognizes me here. You look so different. Well, I mean, I, I, I've lost weight. I've, like, well, grown into myself. I, Same I, here. I, Victor. Steven. Fuck. I have a Dude. memory. <laughs> it worked with quite a lot of people, but they were genuinely shocked about his dramatic change in appearance. But they were shocked for the better. Some thought he looked great. This girl tried and hit on him, which her boyfriend was not very happy about. Wait, he just came back from Japan. Were you in Japan? Yeah, I was in old Kyoto. There was like a, a shaman, uh, Murakami Yomimoto, which basically translates to Never trust a monkey without shoes. Okay, and what does that mean? The girl I was seeing at the time was cheating on me, so I think that's what he was really implying. So. He's unreal. Like, he's... Wait, wait, wait. 
music's my passion. I went to LA and I invested in, in Bitcoin. Bitcoin? Where the hell is he coming up with this? <laughs> Have you ever heard of uh, Maroon 5? Maroon 5? Yeah, that's the band I, I play in. It seemed to kind of be going well until we found out somebody was there who we were not expecting to be. The girl that you said was the girl that you fancied at school is here. She's kidding me. Are you serious? She's to Anna right now. Oh, hi, Katie. How are you? You're not seeing Festa. Yeah, yeah. No, you're not. Yeah, I 100% am. What's my last name? Good as well. It's been a long time, Katie. I did have a, a little bit of a crush on you, so. Tell me something about me. You're beautiful. That's one. No, 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 no. Well, thank you. Something about me previous. Um. What else? This is horrible. This is so horrible. I know I've changed a little bit, you know. I wish I still had my hair, but you don't remember me, do you? I know Steve Festo. When do you play guitar? When's the last time you've talked to me? You don't care about I'm me. I'm not buying it. Let me get talk to Kristen. We got, we got to get talk to her. Yeah, Come let's here. talk to her. Let's see, what are we doing? Yeah, that's not I, mean, not, that's I know that. Steven. I will never forget him. That's not him. See, we went to school with him for a long time, and you're not him. I am 100% him. I played clarinet in middle school, as you know. Uh-huh. And you played clarinet as well. I, I always Steve's felt like this level. weird, like, competitive thing with you. Really? Because I thought you played something in between clarinet and saxophone. What was that? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Things have changed. Yeah, he's digging deep. I am Steven. No, you're not. I'm sorry. You don't look like him, even. They didn't do a good job. Well, the other, the Steven Faso that went to Glenel. I've been waiting to find Steven, talk to him. Does anyone in the room still think it's him? <laughs> you're not Steven Faso. No, you're not. Oh, we, it's game over. Soon, everyone in the room would know that this was not the real Steven. So we had a matter of minutes to finish this thing. He just needs to do Chicks Dig Me and get out of there. Let's send him a note. So if you remember the Chicks Dig Me performance, the most embarrassing moment of Steven's high school, where he had the big wedgie, now this was going to be his chance to do it all over again and do it with a sexier, more topless version of himself. Hey, Steven! Are you going to play? Oh, that's awkward. <laughs> Y'all knew me as a saxophone player. But I'm going to show you something you've never seen before. Such a better musician than he is. <laughs> He's so much better than that. You think his shirt's off right now? I don't know. <laughs> After Chicks Dig Me, things really, really went bad. They all knew by that point that it wasn't Stephen. And Stephen and I were in the back of the van and Stephen was freaking out. Are you all right? I don't, I don't know, it's like a mixed bag for me. Like I haven't seen these people in 10 years, you know, and I'm thinking, oh shit, is this gonna like shit on my career? Like being a dentist in the area? Like who knows how it's gonna settle out, but you know, I signed up for it, so. <laughs> I'm Stephen. I work with Stephen's dad. I'm yes. super proud of Stephen. That's a bummer, because I would love to see actual Steven. Well, dude, you fooled me. <laughs> I'm Steven. I'm Steven and I'm 29. They wanted to see him all along. And Steven has this like moment that maybe he wasn't invisible at high school. Here's the way I feel. It's touching to know that these people that I didn't think still felt connected to me actually do. So like, 
Yeah, I, I, I guess I undervalued those friendships that I made in high school. And that's something not to really take for, you know, take for granted. They're not into Steven Festo right now. Not my version of Steven Festo. What do you think went wrong? What went wrong is... Is that him, like... That they love the real Steven Festo. We should go in. Yeah. No, I, I do want to go in. Let's go. You want to go in? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> All right. All right. I love Steven. <laughs> Steven always had 17 bags on his shoulders, and he was making it to where Steven needed to go. I've known Steven since middle school, and yeah, he got picked on in high school and middle school. I mean, it, it was kind of a, it was kind of like he had friends. I mean, we all kind of had friends, but outside of it, it was tough. What's up, man? I did not anticipate this in any way, and I didn't think that I was still relative in their thoughts, even at like you know, ten years after high school. But I got proven wrong. It's really nice to think that people still. You know, I have those feelings towards me or those thoughts about me. And they have like these memories that are really fresh to them. Talking with Natalie afterwards and the way she's like, hey, I worked with your dad, this is my experience there. And like, hey, I, you know, cried after leaving his office. I was thinking about changing my career and like just staying there. Like that's a huge affirmation for me since that's kind of where I've redirected my career path. Yeah, we did a gag on them, but this was a huge learning experience for me. So it worked then, in its own little way? It did. The inadequate, invisible person that Stephen thought he was at high school died tonight. He even managed to do something that he had never been able to at high school. Ask his crush out. Let's get coffee sometime. Let's do coffee sometime. Okay, we will.